Hi, it's Felipe here. Welcome to the Reuse City Online Co-Design Lab. This is the first video I'm sharing. Today is Tuesday, the 6th of April, 2021. The lab is scheduled to run for the next four weeks until the last Friday of this month. You may be wondering what exactly is an online co-design lab. And to be honest, I don't have a concrete answer to that, but I hope we can build it together as a community. You see, even though this whole exercise is part of my individual PhD research in the Open Dot project, I also have other objectives that go beyond the academic ones. I truly believe that the world of humans should find ways to increase the reuse of goods and materials. There is no way to think of cleaner futures if you don't deal with the amount of waste that is being produced every day. If you are here, I think you're not surprised to hear that recycling, landfilling and incinerating are not enough for that and won't be for the foreseeable future. We must find ways to make the best use of things that have already been manufactured and are out there in the world. And to me, the best way to explore that possibility is by working together with people who are already actively doing that, as well as those who would want to be active and may find this to be a good opportunity. So, how do we start the lab? I will share with you how I see that unfolding and I would love to hear back from you how that resonates. My expectation is to use the lab mainly to grow a community that will connect, discuss, brainstorm and experiment with ideas about the reuse of materials in local contexts. The first thing I'll do then is to ask those of you who have already signed up or subscribed how we should communicate as a group. There are so many tools today that it's even hard to decide uh, how to start this kind of collective conversation. I'm aware that consensus will be hard to reach uh, based on previous experiences with collectives and groups, but I'll try my best to find something that contemplates as many participants as possible. And possibly I will create also other ways to communicate for those who are not willing to go into this kind of more collective community, community environment. Still this week, I will also explain where I am coming from, uh, what I did in previous phases of this research and the ideas that I'm currently working on. Finally, for this first phase, on Friday, the 9th of April, we will have the first online workshop. Friday is also the IoT day that is organized by the Internet of Things Council. And I find that a good opportunity to share those parts of my research that connect and intersect with sensors, data and so on. Uh, I am fully aware and I think you and I agree that technology will not solve the issues that we are trying to address, but it can be, uh, in any case, a good way to start conversations and to expose issues of knowledge, work and power that are behind the reuse of things. Over the coming weeks, we will have the opportunity to meet other times and to create together and hopefully to start prototyping and planning for the future. I hope to have all of you on board. Obviously, feel free to invite other people that you think may be interested in joining this lab or this community. And I must also make a note, uh, in order to join the workshops, I need you to sign up the consent form upon reading the participant information sheet. This is a requirement to comply with uh, Northumbria University's ethics regulations and to protect your data and participation. So if you haven't done so, please hop to the website that sits at make.reuse.city and sign up. You can either find uh, this online form that you can fill directly or you can download the PDF files and date them and sign them, sign them and send me by email. So that's it for today. Uh, I thank you for your interest and hope to get you on board and let's try to do these things together. Bye. Talk to you soon.